on my impressions of Cyberpunk 2077 so far. And just a heads up, I am playing on PlayStation 5. And I was just going to run around and do a quick little, like, a side gig to get my impressions. And if you want to get more thoughts, check out the Nerds at, Odd po Nerds at Odds podcast that goes live on Fridays for free or four days early ad-free on Patreon.com slash Nerds at Odds. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go find a little quest to do is just go rescue person located. A little, a little thing I want to do. I guess we'll go rescue that person. How far was that? Sit on my bike. So my first impressions of the game so far, I've played about 18 hours. I'm trying to keep this spoiler free, that's why we're doing some random job. Um, is that it is an excellent game. And once they finish patching it, it's going to be one of the most impressive games ever made, I feel. The story is excellent, the gameplay is fun, and it's a very in-depth RPG. The city feels alive. The only thing that is concerning is how poor of shape it is on last-gen consoles. Hey v, wanna do a good deed and make some eddies while you're at it? Gotta get someone out of the Tiger Claw's grip before they chop him into teeny tiny little pieces. You in? Deeds attached. Don't make me ask twice. Alright, cool. And grab these people from the Tiger Claws. Let me show you my uh, my inventory so you can equip six pieces of armor and then like an outfit. Uh, grenades, health stuff, three weapons. And you have, let's see here, character. You have your stats, and then within your stats, you have your puck trees. So there's a lot to upgrade, and also I've got to show you this. Your cyberware. You can add a upgrade to all these slots in your body. So there's an upgrade here. Let's zoom out into the map real quick. It's this top level. You can go out here too, like in the... Badlands, desert areas of the um, Night City, I suppose. And you see all these icons as I zoom in. It's a really huge city, can be kind of daunting if you're not used to these huge open world games. But I feel like it runs fine on PlayStation 5. Um, I'm ready for next gen upgrades, but it runs at 60, it runs at like somewhere between around 1440, maybe 1200 at times without the next gen upgrade at 60, which is good because I saw it running at like 13 frames a second on PS4, which is unacceptable. So this is a public service announcement to not buy it on last gen consoles, and I'm upset that CD Projekt released it on last gen consoles. They could have just released it on current gen and PC while saying they're still working on last gen. Though I understand they would have caught almost as much flack for that as they did with their current decision. So, understand that. So let's just hop into some gameplay, see how the gameplay works. I am not going to be keeping quiet, I'm just going to shoot these people. I have this uh, sword, I have this like, uh, carbine type of rifle, then I have this assault rifle. So we're just going to go in loud, you'll see how it goes. Hey buddy. I'm also playing on easy, because I play all my games on easy. I'm here just for the score. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the sword combat here. That's what that weapon does. loot these people real quick and then we'll search this guy. So what I'm doing right now is called a gig and gigs are just random quests that pop up. You can't ever complete them all because new ones continue to pop up like radio quests in Skyrim. So side jobs which are side quests, uh, gigs which are repeatables and then main story quests.
Why is it the one here? Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, so if you get a uh, five intellect or whatever the intelligence I think it's called here, you can hack into these for more money. One C, one C, E nine, one C. Yeah, I missed him. Oh. I didn't even see these downstairs things. So Street Cred uh, ups the amount of like items Venus will sell you. There's the guy number four. What else is around here? A knife. I was gonna just... You wrote. Yup. <laughs> That's me. I was hired to get you out of here. Can you walk? Man, I've got 43 fights under my belt. This isn't my first black and blue makeover. Say the word, and I'm right behind you. Okay, then get up. Time to turn tail. With you all the way. Listen, if we need to talk, I can't help you. At least not in this state. I'll handle it. It's what I'm paid for. Also killed everybody else, so uh, really got nothing to worry about, dude. You coming? Ain't no one here. Oh, it's just slow. Is this kind of outside? All over now. Yeah. You better Delta. Let's put this whole thing to rest. Come on, get in the car. Why are you so slow? So, the biggest issue I've had is it's crashed while I'm driving a couple times. Thanks. I, I think I can take it from But I've only lost like a minute or two of sure progress at most from that. Hey, listen. By the way, who threw down the eddies to bust me out? I'm gonna read that Regina's text to make to see if Yeah, I'll tell him it's my call. Masadu. He knew he'd be in a bit of a fix after the stunt he pulled. <laughs> Just like him to do that. First he lends me knee deep in shit, then tries to pull me out. Don't know if 
I should spit in his face or shake his hand when I see him now. It'd be better for both of you if you never saw each other again. Ever. You're on the level. Don't let this city swallow you up. And if it does, make sure it remembers you. Well, Rose secure, but I don't know. Guess I was expecting something more. Like more discretion. Next time, try and go that extra mile, okay? Get closed. Lame. Whatever. Okay, so uh, my vote for Cyberpunk right now is entertaining on next-gen consoles and what I've seen on PC. Once they fix the bugs and the next-gen update comes out, I have no doubt it's going to be excellent. But for right now, I'm going to give it an entertaining. If you have a PS5, Series X, or PC, uh, I'd suggest you can go ahead and grab it without much trouble. But if you have a last-gen console, definitely do not hop on this right now. Thanks for watching, and check us out on the podcast every Friday for free. And if you want to become part of the community, head on over to patreon.com slash nerds at odds. You can get access to Discord. You can get our content free, uh, early, ad free, the ability to submit questions, comments, concerns, and a bunch of other perks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.